Hello, Miles here from TechSilver. Today I'm going to be telling you about the GrandPad, a tablet designed specifically for older adults. So before I do the unboxing and start talking about the GrandPad's features, let's talk about why there is a need for the GrandPad. Well, to begin with, as you know, many people think that things like uh, everyday tablets, like iPads and smartphones are simple to use. And for many people, they are. But unfortunately, for many older people who haven't grown up around technology, they can find it really difficult to get used to them. They're also not designed for older people, so they've got small icons, the touch screens can be difficult for older fingers, and lots and lots of things about them are not easy to use for older people. So, not only that, but nowadays, communications are nearly all done online. Now I'm sure many of you don't live in the same town or city you grew up in and many people live in, in different countries and maybe on the other side of the world. So in order to stay in touch with our loved ones, they need to be able to use technology. Now this is specifically true for older people who are at you know, big risk of becoming lonely if they can't keep in touch with loved ones. So, you know, I talk to many of my family with a couple of taps on my smartphone, but some people's parents and grandparents just feel a little bit isolated and maybe feel a bit left out from the family and don't see what's going on day to day because they're unable to use technology. The GrandPad has been invented in order to help solve that problem and bring together older adults from around the world with their family to tackle loneliness as soon as possible. So, without further ado, let's go into talking about the GrandPad itself. Okay, so before we get on with the unboxing, I'm going to quickly fire through what makes this different to other devices out there and all the things you get for your money. So, to start off with, you get unlimited 24-7 support in a native English speaking country. They just have to tap the help button any time of day or night and somebody will answer the call within 15 or 20 seconds to be able to help them immediately. The second thing you get is unlimited 4G internet connection. So regardless of whether they have a Wi-Fi connection at home or not, the GrandPad will work anywhere. This means they can take it out and about with them or use it at home and especially they don't even need to know what Wi-Fi is let alone have to find the password and type it in. The GrandPad just works. Something else you get is unlimited music streaming. So you can pick from over 8 million songs and it's very similar to other music streaming software and music streaming platforms you'll be familiar with but much much simpler for older people to use. And also included, you get access to what's called GrandPad Central. This is a management website where trusted family and friends are able to add things onto the GrandPad, like different types of music they might like or family photos, take things off they might not like, uh, add different contacts or able to contact the person who has the GrandPad and loads, loads more. This means that the older person doesn't need to worry about having too many things on there or you know, worrying about managing the device day to day. They they can just enjoy using it while their loved ones customise it to exactly their needs. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin with the unboxing. So to start off with, the GrandPad comes in senior friendly packaging. So you've got these nice messages on the side saying rotate the box because you got it the wrong way around and again on the bottom here you can say see it says oops i'm upside down please turn me over and then here you can see it says open from the uh, other side and here you can say it says to lift the flap to open so you don't need any strength no tape or anything like that to open it so you can hand it straight to your elderly loved one and if any of you that are eagerly eyed out there can spot that's a us phone number don't worry the british boxes do have british phone numbers on there or european phone numbers on there this is just one of the american boxes so once we open it up the first thing we get inside is these really nice uh, cards so instead of having long complicated instructions you've got these cards in there which basically give you a simple introduction to how to use the device so 
There's one that says about how to plug it in and charge it. There's one here that just uh, will be personalized at the moment, it hasn't got a name on it, but it says dear. So let's say it might say dear Miles for me. And it tells you about how it works. On the back there, you've got your personalized email address, which of course isn't filled out because this is brand new. And uh, there's a little guide here to how to use it and what all the apps and features are. But that's it. It's all in large print, nice quality cardboard, easy to read. But the important thing is you don't need any training to use a grand pad. It works straight out of the box. So um, let's carry on with the unboxing then. So let's start off with the grand pad tablet itself. I'm just going to move that box to one side for a second. So you've got this really nice free case that comes with it here, which is quite tactile. It's got a weight to it in that it feels quality, but it's not too heavy to use. And also there is a stand you can pop it on and the case turns into a stand, which I'll show you in a minute. But just looking at what's on there, you've got this camera on the back here, a nice high quality camera with a flashlight that can be used for taking photos or as a torch. You've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack inside here if you want to listen to music. Um, without disturbing anyone else around you. And of course, we'll come on to the music later on. And there's a charging port here, a micro USB one, but it doesn't need to be used that way. It actually comes with a fantastic charging cradle that I'll show you in a moment. This is just a good little backup. Okay, so the case itself is really nice because it is a stand at the same time. So it's magnetic. As you can see, it's got these three tiers here. And as you open the grand pad, there's no on off button. So this one's already been activated. So as you can see, just by opening the case, it turns on, close the case, goes back to sleep again, open the case, turns on. So there's no on off buttons for the senior to get confused about. It just works by opening the case. And you can fold this case back on itself. I'll do it that way so you can see just like that. And when you fold it back on itself, it sticks together like a magnet. And then that works nicely as a little stand to be able to use it easily. It's going to come out of music there. And also it can be used like this. So I know you can't really see that too well, but essentially that would be nice if you want to look down at, it, down at it a little more. So you've got those nice kind of features built in and you can use it as a stand. And also it keeps it well protected. So coming on to the grand pad itself, to start off with, you've got this nice eight inch high definition touch screen and on each side, these large speakers. Now this is deliberate. As you know, many older people might have problems with their hearing. So these large speakers mean that no matter what they're doing, whether it's listening to music, having a video call or a phone call, they can make it nice and loud and clear so they can still hear what's going on. Right, so coming back to the box then, once you've taken the tablet out, the next thing you've got is this little accessory bag. Now in here, you get three things. Move that box out of the way again for you. Get three things in here. You've got a nice microfiber cleaning cloth, which is ideal for getting those grubby finger marks off the gram pad. And also you can clean your spectacles with it as well. The next thing you've got here is a nice high quality stylus. So um, many older people might suffer from a, a lack of sensitivity in the end of their fingers, or I know some people just have got sausage fingers. I know I do a little bit. So sometimes it just helps to be more precise by being able to use this, this free stylus. And it's, a, it's, it's metal, so it's weighted, it's got a nice feel to it. Um, and not only do you get that in there, finally, you get this fridge magnet. So this fridge magnet not only tells you a little bit about the grand pad, but most importantly, it's got their phone number on there should you want to call them. However, you can call the support line through the grand pad at any time and I'll come on to show you that a little bit later on. So the final thing in the box is one of the best things about the grand pad's design and that is the charging cradle. So I'm just gonna lift that out of there. Again, move the box out of the way so you guys can see. So this is the charging cradle. Of course, that would just plug into any wall power outlet, and that is quite a nice long cable there, so it can you know trail along if it needs to, and it doesn't need to be very close to a power outlet. So when you plug in this uh, charging cradle, you get a little 
green light here that tells you that it's receiving power so your elderly loved one doesn't need to be confused as to whether it's going to work or not and you can put the ground pad in to charge it either this way or upside down it doesn't matter there's no cables to mess around with there's nothing fiddly to plug in they just set it down on the charging cradle and it will charge now it's not plugged in at the moment obviously but when you when it is plugged in and you pop it on there's a nice light here just to indicate that the device is charging so again that eradicates any confusion that your senior loved one may have as to whether it's going to be charging or not you just pop it on there and it's simple as that it charges of course it also works like a nice stand so they can charge it and play with it you know play games listen to music speak to loved ones at the same time without having to hold it and maybe get some you know pain in their wrists if they held it still for a long period so it works as a charging cradle as well as a stand and as you can see couldn't be easier or more simple to use compare that to charging a, a tablet like an iphone uh, like an ipad or an iphone you have a fiddly little cable you've got to plug in it's not easy and this is being designed specifically for older people to be as simple as possible So that covers the unboxing. Now let's move on to the grand pad itself. So now, as you can see, I've plugged in the charging cradle and that light has come on to indicate that it is charging. So we'll start off with the interface, the menus. As soon as the grand pad wakes up, you're presented with this really nice, clean and uncluttered screen. And as you can see, you've got large icons with large text and different colors to help indicate which is which. You've got the time up there and one side, the time, sorry, the time on this side here and the date in the top left. And then you've got these arrows along the bottom and it even tells the senior, tap a button, tap the arrows to see more. Now I read that upside down, I hope you're impressed. Um, and as you press these buttons, as you can see, it moves between the different functions. And not only can they press those buttons, if they are familiar with swiping, they can also just swipe their finger from one side to the other to cycle through the different functions. So now I've told you about how the navigation and the menus work, let's start off looking at the features. And I'm gonna start off with what I think is the best and most valuable feature that GrandPad has. So as you'll know, loneliness is very common amongst older people. And I don't know about you, but it, it really pains me to think about all the elderly people around the country and around the world who maybe don't talk to anyone for long periods of time and are chronically lonely. There's plenty of research out there as well, and feel free to do your own, that loneliness is, is bad for your health. So not only has it got a social impact, it's also got a physical impact as well. So it's really important that we stay connected with our loved ones. And I'm sure that many of us would love to and would happily stay in contact with elderly loved ones more should we have a medium or a way of communicating with them that made it easier. So the GrandPad allows you to do that. And one of the best ways it does that is video calls. Now, again, when I speak to loved ones around the world, I often just call them on WhatsApp, on Skype, on Facebook Messenger, on FaceTime. But many of these different things, older people don't have access to, particularly if they don't have a mobile device or a tablet. So what they can do if they would like to call you is they can just tap on this call icon here. And as you can see, it's got some preloaded contacts. So these contacts are loaded by the family or friends on the GrandPad central website I was telling you about and can be done remotely from anywhere. New ones can be added and removed at any time. When you do add a contact, they get an invite via a text message and an email to set up their profile and also to download the GrandPad app, which is a free app and that's how they can communicate to the GrandPad user. So as you can see, they can easily cycle through the different contacts here of who to call. As you can see, there's myself there. So I can tap call Miles or I can tap on my face and let's just tap on my face. And as you can see, you've got these nice simple options there to cancel, to go back, maybe they made a mistake, a phone call 
or a video call. Just need to find my mobile phone. Here it is. So I'm gonna video call Miles here and obviously that is calling myself. So in a moment, my phone, there you go. Instantly it's saying, Grandma Tech Silver Demo is ringing. So it gives you a, I'm just gonna turn it down. As you can see, you've got the louder and quieter options there. So I'm just gonna turn that down a little bit. As you can see in the corner, it gives you a little preview of, of what the camera is showing. So the selfie camera on the ground pad. And then on here, it's telling me that it's calling. So I can swipe up to answer and I'll show you that. And there we go, it's connected. I'm gonna cut it before it does that. Now, obviously that's feedback because we're in the same room. But normally what that would enable you to do is to be able to contact each other. And obviously it doesn't matter where I am in the world, as long as I have my smartphone and I have an internet connection and your loved one has a grandpad, they can see and hear you from anywhere. Now. What's really important about these video calls is it adds a new dynamic to communication. Many of the grandpad customers from around the world have been able to see their grandchildren grow up, share special moments. I've heard a story of uh, someone's grandchild who was getting married, and unfortunately the older person wasn't able to make it due to health reasons. So they streamed the entire wedding from their smartphone, put it on a stand, and the older person was able to watch the wedding from their grandpad in the comfort of their living room. Now that's just one heartwarming story that just shows you the potential and the possibilities that the grandpad gives through the fantastic video calling feature. So I've showed you the video calling, but you also have audio calling as well. So I've shown you the video calling feature, but let's just say that I might be busy. Now, of course, if I'm calling one of my friends and they don't answer, I don't think anything of it because it's normal. But maybe an older person who's not used to video calling someone, you don't know what their reaction might be to you rejecting the call. So Grandpad covers that in a really clever way. So let's say I call myself again, let's go to video calling. And in just a moment, that should start calling, there you go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe down to decline. When I do that, it says, would you like to tell Grandma Tech Silver, which is what we've named this device, would you like to tell Grandma Tech Silver why you cannot um, call her right now, why you can't answer? So it says, sorry, I can't talk right now. Call me back later, please, or I'll call you in a little while. So let's just say I've selected, I'll call, in a, I'll call you in a little while. I've tapped that. And there you go. It's popped straight up on the screen there. You can see I've sent a little message. So the older person will be like, okay, you know, Miles is busy right now. He'll call me back and it's as simple as that. So another great thing about the calling feature is when you are, when the grandpa is doing an outbound call to a family or friend, it also sends a text message and an email to say that your grandma or granddad or mum or dad are calling. So let's say you might have deleted the app or something to free up some space, which you know I do all the time. Maybe that that means the call wouldn't go through and again might cause some confusion for the older person. So not only do you get a text and email reminder to let you know that they are calling, but in that text and email reminder, I'll bring one up now, it has a link that you can open directly. So that link you can open, it opens in a web browser and it means you can still have the video call without any third party software or having to download any apps, still have the audio and video call with them just from the web browser, either on your phone, your laptop, your tablet, whatever you open it on. So that's a really nice smart workaround that means that whatever device you've got and whether you've got the app installed or not, you're still able to talk to your elderly loved one. So the final thing I'll show you on the grandpad here is the outbound dialing phone number. So this just works like a normal telephone which uh, there are unlimited calls included with the grandpads, so they don't need to worry about 
you know, racking up any bills. And that also applies to the audio and video calls I showed you a moment ago. They can type in a number here and ring something like a taxi or a takeaway if they wanted to. So if the person doesn't have a mobile phone, they can still use this if they'd like to do some calling. And I believe this can be removed from the GrandPad Central and deactivated just in case the person maybe has memory loss or dementia and you don't want them calling anyone but the family and friends who are listed in the call section. Okay, so next up, I'm going to show you the photos section. So let's just move over to the photo section here. Again, what's important about those photographs? Well, as you know, a picture speaks a thousand words. I know in my group family WhatsApp, we're constantly sharing pictures and images with each other. But again, if you've got an elderly loved one who doesn't have a mobile device, they miss out on those photos. So from the GrandPad app, Anyone can, or anyone in the family circle, can share photos, and those photos can either be shared directly with the grandpad, or they can be shared with everyone. So essentially, it makes like a group chat. You all use your normal mobile devices, but your elderly loved one uses the grandpad. But it still works like a group conversation where everybody is included. An option with that, which I think is fantastic, which it's up to you whether you want to turn on or not, you can set the GrandPad app up to automatically share Facebook and or Instagram photos. So I know I do it. I mostly just share things on, on Instagram. And then by doing that, not only does it share um, to my Instagram feed, but also it'll automatically be shared to the GrandPad as well. So you don't need to worry about remembering when you upload something to social media to also send it through to the GrandPad. But I know some people wouldn't want their elderly loved ones seeing everything they put on social media. That's also fine. It's a completely optional thing to turn on or off as you so wish. So coming back to the photo section, you've got these three sections along here. So let's start off with the slideshow. Slideshow does exactly what you think it would do. It cycles through all the pictures on the grand pad one after another, and it basically works like a digital photo frame. So this is really nice because they can leave the grand pad on the side in the charging cradle. It's not going to run out of battery and it will cycle through all the photos that they've either taken using the camera on the on the grand pad or photos that they have been sent by loved ones. And if you want to exit that, you just tap it again and it closes. So the next thing I'll show you is the favorite section again. It's exactly what you might think it is. It's favorite pictures that the GrandPad user has set as one of their favorites. So the options on here, oh yeah, it automatically full screens just to get the best out of the picture. There's a little message there telling you how to get out of it again, but of course, any touch just brings you back out. So that's favorites wrapped up. Now let's move into all photos. So if I go into here, you can see this will show me all the photos that are on the GrandPad and I can tap on the middle of one to full screen it. And again, it tells me if I want to exit, I just tap to come out of it again. And again, you can either swipe to cycle through them or you can just tap on the arrows on either side to be able to cycle through the photographs. There's an option to delete them. There's an option to favorite them, which adds them back to the favorite section I was telling you about or there's an option to read the different comments. So as you can see here, there's a photo description, which you know is set as jet ski when I shared it with the uh, grandpad from the app. And you can also leave a comment. So what this does is it will count down and allows the grandpad user to leave a comment on the photo. But instead of using a keyboard, which we've found particularly for many older people, is quite difficult to use on a tablet and can take them quite a long time. It can just be a audio comment. So I'll, I'll demonstrate what, what I mean here. I'll tap that. Oh, that jet ski looks really fun, Miles. I bet you were going really, really fast on that. And I can tap finish recording here, or I can tap reset. So I'm just gonna tap reset. Are you sure you want to? Yeah. That jet ski looks fantastic, Miles. I'd love to buy one of those one day. 
Tap finish recording. It asks you, are you sure? Or do you want to go back just in case they pressed it by accident? Press send. And that's now added a comment. Now I will momentarily get a notification on my phone saying that the grandpad user has left a comment on the photo. And uh, I'll open it up for you now so you can hear it. Should come through any second. So now I'll play the comment for you just to show you how it comes through. So here it says Grandma Tech Silver left a voice comment. Press play. That jet ski looks fantastic, Miles. I'd love to buy one of those one day. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Other people on the app can, of course, leave comments themselves, and they are. Uh, written comments like you would normally do on social media so that again not only allows them to view photos people have sent but also to be able to leave their comments and feedback as well okay next up I'm going to show you one of the other fantastic features about the ground pad and that is the help button so Let's talk about, again, the need for a help button and why this is part of what the grandpad offers. Any of you that have had old, older relatives or friends or family using a device like an, an iPad, an iPhone or other tablets or smartphones will know that when they struggle with it, sometimes they get frustrated and might contact you for support. Now, it's a bit like trying to describe someone how to ride a bike. It's very difficult to describe someone how to use a device without physically being there and telling them what to press on. Now that can be frustrating both for the older person and for the person who's trying to help them. And unfortunately, sometimes means that your conversations are based around tech support rather than catching up about each other's lives and really the purpose of what conversation should be about. So, Grandpad have got a 24-7, 365 help button there. I'll just recap that. They just press the red help button at any time and they can call one of Grandpad's support agents who are in native English speaking countries and that's the UK, Ireland and the USA and they can call any time of day and they'll get through to a real human being usually within 20 seconds so there's no calling and waiting and being put on hold there's no press one for this, press two for that it's been designed specifically to be pain free, simple and fast. As you can see here, it tells me who it's going to ring. Now, Ben is my designated support agent. So what's great about this feature is it knows that you don't want to be passed around between people if possible. So Ben, when I first turned on the grandpad, became my designated support agent. Obviously, we've had this for a little while now, even though it's brand new out the box, we've been using it. So it's desig Ben has been designated my support agent. So that means if Ben is available, any time I press that call button, I'm going to be put through to Ben. That means we can build a rapport, we can get to know each other and really makes that personalised support that little bit more close and friendly. Other things that make the Grandpad helpline so special are things like there is no time restrictions, right? You can call, they can call as often as they like. There's no, they're not going to try and get them off the phone because they've got other people waiting. It's deliberately a personalised support. I've even heard stories of grandpad support agents playing games with them and you know just chatting about their day as opposed to really helping with any specific problem. So that's what sets the grandpad support aside from many other or any other tech support in the world, particularly that I've heard of, and what makes it so special and particularly so customised and well built for older people. So now we're going to move on to the music feature of the Grandpad. So again, music is something that we all really enjoy, right? Whether it's, you know, rock music or jazz or classical, we've all got that music that we love. The problem with music nowadays is it's often done via streaming. Yeah, it's pretty rare that somebody would put a record on or a CD or a tape. And many older people, particularly if they're in a care facility, might not even have a CD player or a record player anymore. So they probably, many of them don't get to enjoy music as much as perhaps they would like to. Um, the Grandpad Music Facility takes that streaming functionality and makes it simple for older people to enjoy. Also, my grandmother, who sadly passed away last year, she 
was a real big fan of songs from the shows, right? And we uh, we used to play music to her, and because she had quite late stages stage of Alzheimer's disease, the music used to bring her alive. With you know, without the music on, sometimes she'd be quite subdued and not particularly talkative. And we'd play a song with her and sing along, and her eyes would just light up, and she'd become alive. It'd become her once more. And if you don't believe me, just search music dementia in YouTube and you'll see some heartwarming videos of the impact that music can have. But, you know, it's not just beat for people who've got memory loss or dementia. Music is enjoyed by everyone and this makes it so fantastic. So, let's go into the music feature. How does it work? Well, starting off from this side, you've got your music favourites. So, you've got quieter and louder. I'll just turn it down for a second there. So you can hear what I'm saying. So these are ones which I've highlighted before as a favourite and then they actually become downloaded to the grand pad. They can turn the volume up and down as you can see here. And that's full volume. This is something that my grandmother liked. Um, as you can hear it, it does get pretty loud and still nice high quality. So you've got quieter and louder there. You can pause it and play it again. And you've also got this background music button. So background music now enables you to be able to quit the music facility and do anything else you want on the grand pad while the music's playing in the background. If they want the music to stop, they simply go back to music and press pause. And it's simple as that. So again, that means it's really nice because it, listening to music doesn't mean you can't enjoy other areas of the grand pad. So over here you've got song information, tells you about the artist, the song, and a little bit about who made it. And you can also tap this, which gives you more songs by this artist. So next I'm going to show you the search music function. So all you have to do is tap search music here, and you can search by song or by artist. So I'm going to search by artist, and I'm going to search for ABBA because it's nice and easy to type upside down. There we go. Just tap ABBA in there, and then you just tap the green search button. It's just going to have a little search of the internet and then it brings up all the different related artists and there we go, ABBA's just up there in the top left hand corner and then it's going to show me all the different songs by ABBA and I can cycle through them. It will play them so instead of being confusing... Okay look, now is not time to sing along so I'll just show you that you can cycle through different songs from that artist and they just need to load. So there's another one. And that is one of my personal favourites. So I'm going to add it to my favourites here. Are you sure you want to add it to your favourites? Yes, I do. Now that's been added. And if I was just to show you and I went back to my favourites, you'll see if I was to cycle through them, well, it's already there, right there at the beginning because I just added it. So, right, let's go back. So I don't know about you, but sometimes I don't know which artist or song I want to listen to. Sometimes you're just in a certain mood or you fancy a certain vibe and you just want to listen to a certain type of music rather than knowing exactly what to search for. Also, some older people who have memory loss issues are even more likely to forget what or who they want to listen to. They just maybe want to listen to a certain type. So Grandpad's pre-curated playlists allow you to do just that. Everything from big band to country to rock music. It's got decades from the 1940s all the way through to the 1970s. And they can tap on any one of these and it will start playing music endlessly from that genre. They can just leave it on playing for as long as they like. So I'm just going to listen to jazz because I absolutely love it. It's got to wait a second for that to load. Turn it up a little bit. Oh, what a classic. Good pick, Grandpad. And again, it's not my job to sit here and vibe out to the music. So, again, they can just keep skipping through endlessly. If they don't like the track, just go on to the next one. And it will keep playing the music from that genre. Again, what I love about this 
is they can just leave it on in the background. So if they're relaxing, maybe they're reading a book, maybe they're playing one of the fantastic games on the ground pad at the same time, they can just leave that going in the background and not having to worry about selecting another artist. So an amazing thing about the ground pad is behind the scenes, this have access to over 8 million songs, which is hard to fathom. So the chances are, whatever they're looking for is very likely to be on here. And if it's not, you can even request on the help button that somebody adds it on and the chances are they'll be able to add it on for you. So a fantastic feature that's included in the price is that unlimited music and they can enjoy it along with all the other fantastic features the Grand Pad has to offer. So the next fantastic feature of the Grand Pad that I would like to tell you about is the games. Now, many of us love playing games, but games have got a fantastic benefit for older people. So, of course, first of all, it's a great way to keep the mind active and to keep yourself doing things. Uh, there's been a study that links watching too much television, particularly over four hours a day with memory loss. If you go and research that yourself, um, there's a link on our product page actually about that, and I'll put the link below in the description on this video. It was on the Age UK website. But as you know, watching too much television is not good for anybody. So being able to play games on this really keeps the mind active and keeps it doing something nice and challenged. The other fantastic thing about games is it can bring generations together. So grandparents and grandchildren can sit together and play games. And games are something which it doesn't matter how old you are, you can enjoy and they can do together. So... There's a full range of different games here, at least 18 different games, ranging everything from solitaire to bingo to poker. So there's gambling games, card games, things like um, Sudoku and Word and number games and all sorts of different types, depending on what you like to do. Many of them have worked as well can be played with one or two players. So, for example, if I was to go into four in a row, it asks me if I want to play with one or two players. And all the games on here are designed to be nice and simple for an older person to use. And I don't mean dumbed down, I mean that there's nice large icons and they're not too complex. They're not like playing something like Candy Crush on your iPhone. It's nice and simple and easy to enjoy. So one of the fantastic things about the Grand Pad is if you leave a game, and you come back to it, it will save where you are. So their version of something similar to Scrabble, it's called Word Scramble. And uh, this is a fresh game, so it hasn't, there's nothing to bring back. But if you were to you know, go and answer the door or go to bed and carry on in the morning, the game is still safe for when you carry on. So it's not like you, can worry, you should worry about leaving it and, and losing your game. They can go and do what they need to do, come back and the game will still be active. The next thing I want to show you on the ground pad is the camera. So once you tap on the camera here, it can be used for photos or videos. And again, many seniors might not use uh, cameras these days. A lot of people obviously take photos on their smartphones or on their tablets, but if they don't have either of those, it means they're unable to capture special moments and keep those to look at in the future. So they can take photos or videos and it's got a front facing selfie camera and also it's got a rear camera with a flashlight so they can take photos either way so I'll demonstrate that for you now put it on photo mode well as it's on the stand obviously there's a uh, nothing behind it if I was to move it you'll see that going to the screen and they can easily switch to front camera just by tapping that there and as you can see you've got my dresser in the background they can take a photo and it counts down from three so they know they've got time. And when it's taken, they can save or delete the photo. And when you save it, it'll ask you if you'd like to share it with your family, which is fantastic. So not only can you save it to your gallery, but it prompts you if you've captured a nice moment, you know, maybe you'd like to share this with your loved ones. So you can tap yes there, and it'll ask you if you'd like to describe the photo. So you can tap yes and leave a comment. 
So I'm just filming a video explaining the grand pad and I thought I'd take a photo just to demo how fantastic the camera is. And there we go, that's gone to all the family members linked with this grand pad. So I'll just show you the video camera as well, which works in a very similar way. You've got front and rear camera, but you've also got the, the flashlight down here, which I didn't demonstrate for you on the photo. And it means that they can capture all these fantastic moments from their grand pad anytime they would like to. And of course, all those moments are saved in the gallery if they decide to save them and they can view them, share them, delete them whenever they want at any time in the future. So next up, I want to show you the email functionality. So the email allows you to send or receive emails. You can receive emails to the email address which, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, is described on a card which comes in the box so they can share that with loved ones if they want to receive emails. But only people who are associated with the grandpad can send emails. So they're not going to get any junk spam emails trying to sell them things or any phishing with a PH scams trying to get their card details. Only pre-approved people can send emails to the grandpad. When they reply, they can do so using a traditional QWERTY keyboard, which I will show you now, or they can speak the message. Hi Miles, just sending you an email to test out the grandpad. And again, they finish recording, hit send, and my app will uh, give me a notification shortly to say that this grandpad has sent me a pre-recorded message. That pre-recorded message is stored in a cloud on the internet, essentially can see that's just come through now on my laptop. It's stored on the internet, so you don't need to worry about massive attachments using up your email inbox. Um, it's gonna be stored by Grandpad on their servers. So not only will friends and family be able to send emails to the Grandpad, but also the support team who work for Grandpad can do so as well. So sometimes they do that to inform them of things like maybe a new feature that's come about, or maybe they're letting them know that they've made some changes which they requested, and even fantastic things like game competitions which they have. So sometimes they might have a, a national competition of um, things like tic-tac-toe, and they'll see who the winner is and declare that on there. So it's another fantastic medium of communication which the grandpad offers and allows them, maybe they're not feeling up to a phone call or a video call, to send a message in their own time and also to receive emails from loved ones and they can attach photos or videos to those emails and the grandpad will automatically add them to the gallery. So the internet is a fantastic resource which you've all come to enjoy. But however, browsing the internet can present challenges and dangers for older people. For example, pop-ups, scams, inappropriate content. So the grandpad has got around this in a very clever way. They've got an internet facility here which has the features which you would expect. You've got websites which can be preloaded by loved ones remotely. So on that grandpad central website I was telling you about Loved ones can decide which websites are added or if they don't have any family members or perhaps they, they spoke to the support team, the Grandpad support team can also add websites. So as you can see on here, we've got the Tech Silver website, BBC News, BBC Good Food, Wikipedia and a Scrabble website which one of the support team added for us. So you can just tap on any of those. It grabs a little logo. There's BBC News. So that's just loading up. And along the top here, again, you have nice, easy, simple to use buttons. So you've got volume up and down. You can make the text larger and smaller. So maybe they've got poor eyesight and they want to be able to see what they're doing on there. So you've got text larger and smaller. You can scroll up and down using it as well instead of swiping. You've got forward and back to go to the previous page or the next page. And of course, 
quitting back to the main menu and that applies to any of the websites. So an optional feature on the grand pad, which it's up to you whether you decide to have on or not, is an internet search function. So this just taps straight into Google and it's better for those older people who are maybe a little bit more tech savvy, who, you know, are reliable enough to go on the internet and you aren't worried about them being scammed or going onto something which you wouldn't want them to be seeing. So I'm just going to Google um, BBC on here because that what we, that's what we were just looking at. Again, using a QWERTY keyboard upside down is quite difficult, there's the C. And I'm um, just going to click search there. And again, you can see within moments you've got full Google. So they can look up anything from sports, news, cooking, any of the hobbies they've got, they can research on the internet and enjoy it, but in a much simpler and easy to use way. The GrandPad's weather feature not only gives you a five day forecast of where you are, which is graphically represented in a really nice way, but also you've got the weather of all your family and loved ones. Now, I know in the UK, I'd say our favorite topic of conversation is the weather. So it's always nice to see what it's like where your loved ones are. And if they live all across the world, it's sometimes really interesting to see what it's like where they are. So you can just cycle through your family and it will give you a brief what it is right now and then tap on it to see a five day forecast as well. The GrandPad's article section collates information from all across the internet in a wide variety of categories. Everything from antiques to nature to travel. There's articles updated daily on all these fantastic areas. So let's look at one of the ones which is very popular. We all love pets, particularly cats and dogs. So they have a cool feature which is called Dog of the Day. Just tap on there. It tells you a little bit about the dog. You can see a picture of it. And then it's got lots of information written by the person who's the owner about this specific dog. Now there's things that are a little bit less light-hearted than that. You can read about current affairs going on in the world. You can read about nature and all sorts of different areas. And when you are reading something you look like you like the look of, so let's say I'm quite interested in the links, you can start reading the article and then you can add it to your favourites. So then when you're back browsing the main menu of the articles, on here you've got your favorite articles which you can go back and revisit whenever you like. And as I said, these are updated and changed all the time. So they're not gonna complete the information on there and have nothing to read. There's always fresh and interesting content from around the world to keep them connected to what's going around them. So the lookup function allows the GrandPad user to have an encyclopedia or a dictionary at their fingertips. It's got nice large keys as usual, as you'd expect on the GrandPad, and it's easy to look at. So let's say we want to look at some information about the fantastic capital of the UK, London. I'm just gonna type that in there. Again, I haven't quite got typing upside down covered, have I? Spelt that right? Yes, I have, good. And uh, there we go, there's London in the top left hand corner there. And you've got nice large print information about the subject you've put in there. Without access to the internet, many older people are cut off from easy access to information. We get so used to being able to see something in our daily lives and just Googling it instantly. But with the grand pad, you're able to feed your curiosity by tapping something in there and finding out lots of information out about it in seconds. Again, on that lookup function, you've got the dictionary there as well. So you can see what a word means in seconds. So let's just tap in one of my favorite words, and that is moist. <laughs> I know everybody hates that word, so that's why I've popped it in there. And there you go, you've got an instant definition in seconds. Slightly wet. <laughs> The 
Grandpad comes with a really useful toolbox, which has got a magnifying glass, really handy if you haven't got your glasses and you're struggling to read something in a magazine or in a restaurant. You can have a light um, on or off and you can zoom in on or out as well. Also, you can do a freeze frame so you don't have to keep holding it there. If it's a long bit of text, you can freeze frame. It basically takes a temporary picture and you can read it in your own time. You've got a flashlight, pretty self-explanatory, but this can be really helpful. So I've heard stories of where people have had power cuts in emergencies like hurricanes and, and earthquakes, and they've been able to turn the flashlight on on their grandpad, because obviously it still has power, and use that to safely be able to use the bathroom or get to a safe place in their home. So it can be really useful for an older person, especially as it's usually next to their bed. And finally, you've got a calculator there to make quick maths calculations. So what makes the Grandpad so special? Well, the Grandpad keeps older people connected with their loved ones, no matter where they are in the world. Yes, you could try buying them an everyday smartphone or tablet, but most of us know that the chances are that will end up in a drawer collecting dust. The Grandpad is by far the best solution out there to keep people in touch with their loved ones and if you're thinking of buying one, the question you need to ask yourself is what value do you put on preventing your elderly loved one from being chronically lonely? I know for me and our family, it's really important to keep them connected and I'm sure it's the same for you. If you have any questions about the Grandpad, please feel free to put them in the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed watching it as well. And if you're watching this on the TechSilver website, then please feel free to give us a call, drop us an email, or use the live chat in the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.